Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Melissa. And for today's video, I thought I would take you on a little treatment process with this guy and try something new. I haven't tried this before, so I'm going to be spraying this guy and repotting him in this video. <laughs> is I purchased this plant several weeks ago from a plant shop and I got super excited about this beautiful big plant that I didn't check for pest and it has mealybugs. I have probably killed like 50 mealies on this guy total and I've been using the alcohol and q-tip method but I haven't sprayed him down with anything. I did put systemic in the soil to kill any mealies that were in the soil and you know i haven't really seen too many more mealies i've seen like an occasional one or two every time i check so i'm going to be spraying every nook and cranny of this guy and i have this um horticultural spray oil that i'm going to be trying it's by bondide and i haven't used this before it's brand new um i've had this in my like plant stuff for a while i just never used it so i'm going to mix them up into like a spray bottle and I'm going to spray this guy with you guys, check for mealies, and I'm also going to be repotting him because the soil in here is pretty compacted and Marantas do love their water, so I'm going to get him into some better soil. And yeah, just kind of clean him up a bit and hopefully get him in a spot where he'll be happy and not in the dark in my bathtub where he's been for like the last three weeks. So yeah, if you want to see more of this and how I do that, then yeah, stick around. So yeah, we're going to be mixing that oil up first and spraying him down. All right, so this is the spray that I am going to be using. It's by Bondide and it says on the back that it does treat mealybugs right here. It controls them. And I was trying to read the instructions because I've never used this before and about how to measure it for a spray bottle and i tried to find the marantas in the plant section and i couldn't find them so i think i'm just going to go with two and a half um tablespoons of oil per gallon of water i think that's what i'm going to go with here so i have an empty gallon jug i'm going to fill with water and i'm going to mix two and a half tablespoons of this into that jug and then from there i will dump into a spray bottle Okay, I hope you can see me. Okay, I'm at my sink. This is just an empty gallon jug that I'm going to be filling with water. And I have two and a half tablespoons here that I'm going to mix into the jug for the dilution. So I'm gonna fill this up first. I'm gonna mix one tablespoon of this. Well, actually it'll be two of these, and this is a half tablespoon, so I'm going to mix two of these. It's kind of thick stuff. And we'll do a half one. I'm going to be dumping this into a spray bottle next and I think we'll spray this plant down first before I repot him. All right so this is the bottle that I found that I'm going to be using so I'm going to give this a good shake and we're going to mix it in here.
Okay, I hope you can see okay. So I don't really have a spot. I should probably do this over the sink or in my bathtub, but I am just gonna do this over here. So this is just like the water and the oil. So I don't know how well this is going to stick, but I'm just gonna spray this entire plant down. Just front and back, all the little stems all the nooks and crannies. I hope this gets rid of them all. It does have a little bit of a smell. I don't know if I should be wearing gloves. I don't know what smells worse, this or neem oil. But I do believe, I do think the alcohol and the Q-tip method has worked pretty well. Um, I definitely was diligent there for a while. I was like every couple of days I was going and checking and any with a Q-tip I did kill like right away. Um, but I think over the past like week and a half or so, I have been slacking and I really have not been checking. But I'm really hoping that systemic did do the job for the most part. It's just like all the little nooks and crannies. Okay, so I think that's good. So I'm gonna let this soak in for a bit and just let that absorb. And then after that, I'll come back and we'll repot this guy as well. Okay, I am back. I put gloves on this time. And I'm gonna use the same size pot. This is just a six inch. This is just a clean one. And I'm going to save this one. I'm just gonna wash this out. But I don't wanna upgrade the pot size or anything. I just wanna refresh the soil. So yes, and I have my potting mix here that I normally use. So this is just the Ocean Forest potting soil and I add extra perlite, um, orchid bark and charcoal so just usually whatever I have on hand and it's pretty airy but I definitely change it up you know for the plant that I'm repotting it really just depends sometimes I make it more chunky but this is pretty chunky so yeah I'm gonna use that and repot this gal Just put a little bit in the bottom there. Just a little focus. And I don't think I'm gonna get off the entire soil. I don't wanna I don't wanna stress the plant out because it is winter, so I just wanna loosen up some of this compacted soil. Because I did treat the soil for muley, so I'm not too worried about it. Those roots that is a cool root system you can see without getting dirt everywhere that's kind of cool just gonna loosen up this dirt a little bit and I'm gonna get dirt all over these leaves so I'm gonna have to spray this now at the sink I just watered this not, not that long ago, so the soil is still kind of wet, but. All right, so I just loosened the root ball a little bit. I'm not going to mess with it that much. nicely still in there so I'm just going to fill up around okay. 
yeah, I don't know. I just like changing plants and putting them into my soil mixes. I don't, I don't normally repot right away, you know, I give the plant time to adjust. And it really just depends on the soil too, you know. Because sometimes some plants, some plants are a lot more root bound and they just need a soil refresh. So I'm just filling up around the edges. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna still leave this guy quarantined. I might put him, I have a spot where I can put him that's by a north window, so he's out of the bathroom at least. He won't get any extra humidity, so I might leave him there for like four or five days and check for mealies one more time. And if I don't see any, I might put him in a different spot. So where he can get some extra humidity. Because right now in my house, without a humidifier, the humidity is really low. A lot of my marantas, I provide extra humidity with a humidifier. So yes, I'm going to water this and rinse this guy, the leaves off, and I might spray a little bit more with that oil just, just in case. We'll see. But yes, let me take him to the sink. All right, so I am back at my sink and I'm just going to give this guy a water. All right, you guys, so this plant has been watered and I got the dirt off the leaves. So yes, I'm gonna let this drain and I don't see any mealies that I could tell like in the crevices. So I honestly think the Q-tip method worked with alcohol and just being persistent with it. But I definitely wanted to spray it just to get in the nook and crannies because these marantas have a lot of like sheaths and they can easily hide under there. So yes. I think I finally got rid of them. So if you're interested, head on over to my Instagram and I have a highlight saved on mealies and you can see this guy and me treating the mealies and all that I've done so far with this guy. So yes, I'll definitely keep you updated. And yeah, I'm gonna quarantine him a little bit longer and then I will find a happy place for him. So yes, thank you for watching and I'll chat with you guys later. All right, I wanted to pop on here and update you guys. It's been about eight days since I filmed this video and my Maranta is out of quarantine and I placed it over here on the step stool with a humidifier with some of my other Marantas because I just wanted it to get in some better conditions. It's been in my bathroom for like three weeks. So yeah, it's super happy and healthy. I haven't noticed any damage on the leaves or anything from that spray. It's given me lots of new growth. I haven't noticed any mealy bugs or anything anywhere, so I think they're finally gone. I definitely recommend the alcohol and Q-tip method and being persistent, and the systemic in the soil, I highly recommend. And the spray, I just, you know, used as a precaution just in case there were any still hiding. So yes, I think we are safe to say that the mealies are gone. I'm just super happy that this plant is healthy now and out of quarantine. And yeah, I just wanted to let you know and update you so that you weren't wondering about like the treatment process after. So yeah.